let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sinned. Came to him and said, 
Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Scholastica is known mostly for being the twin sister of St. Benedict. Both of them were responsible for helping form the first monastic way of life, which with an actual rule to live by, set in on, on paper. Um, and St. Scholastica is um, attributed to being the foundress of the Benedictine Order for Women for that reason. There's a beautiful story about St. Scholastica and the love that she had, that she had with her brother. They were both in their separate castles or places a good many miles away. And St. Benedict was accustomed to visiting his sister at least once a year. So on this visit, St. Scholastica had a sense that this might be the last time that she saw the road. So she, because she was beginning to feel ill herself, so she asked him to stay with her the night to talk about holy things, namely what life would be like in heaven, the life of the angels and the saints and so on, and you know, the glory of God. And he refused because when you're in a religious order, you take a vow of three vows, poverty, chastity, obedience. It's the same, similar to the vows that we take as priests. Obedience is typically the toughest one. And he said, I have holy obedience. No, I won't stay. I have to go back because I've got to be there for prayers to follow the Lord. Well, it so happened that a great thunderstorm came over the area and it prevented him from leaving. Benedict was faithful to his rule, but God had other plans for them. And Scholastica passed away shortly after that. Benedict himself buried her. I want to read to you what Benedict said about his sister after she died. To the sisters that accompanied him to the funeral, as well as to his own brothers in the religious order. Weep not, sisters and brothers, for assuredly Jesus has taken her before us to be our aid and defense against all our enemies. We may stand in the evil day and be in all things perfect. This is in the year 543. Evil is just as prevalent now, I think, as it was back then. It just takes many different forms. If we are capable of looking at death from a Christian lens, even tragic deaths, deaths that are very close to us in our family or friends, if we can see them from a Christian point of view, we can see God's hand in all of it. And we can even see that they can be interceding for us, helping us and fighting for us in this fight here on earth, good versus evil.
trusting in our God who created us and to bring our prayers before Him. That the church may continue to be sanctified and strengthened through the transforming grace of God. Let us pray. Lord. That the Lord may look graciously upon all who desire and strive for purity of heart for the sake of their salvation. Let us pray. Lord. That all who have experienced violence or hatred of any kind may be consoled by the peace and healing of Christ. Let us pray. Lord. That the hearts of those who must gather here may be purified from every evil. Let us pray. Lord. That all who have died, especially Brenda, Sheriff, may live forever in God's presence. Let us pray. Lord. We also pray for the health of Fabiana and Baby Maria Linus Rivera. Let us pray. Lord. For our personal attention. Let us pray. God of all creation, we thank you for the gift of life and everything that sustains us. Hear and answer our prayers this day according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us all reach up and sign for peace.
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that the Virgin blesses the last of your faithful spouse. They stir up in our hearts. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son of the Lord turn us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of blessed scholastic God, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hope everyone has a great day today. Amen. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you.